Hello there. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out. I've been building a custom bike out of this BMW R90 slash six. But today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna be working on a different bike using some high-tech equipment. Some of you may have noticed this bike in the background of the other videos. It's a Yamaha XS400 that I've been doing a little work to. I've tacked together this stainless steel exhaust and it's just about ready for final welding. Before I do that, I need to finalize the placement of the muffler. I know it's going to kick up in the back, but in order to know exactly what angle will be needed, I gotta make the mounts for these new foot pegs. A big part of the cafe racer look is these low racy handlebars. But of course, if you lower the bars a ton and you don't move the foot pegs, you end up scrunched up like the letter C and it is not a comfortable place to be. So the smart thing to do is to move the foot pegs back a few inches so you don't end up with like a cramp in your side after 20 minutes of riding. Uh, I'm using a set of the MotoWorks adjustable rear set foot pegs, which incidentally is the place where I'll be doing the machining. This is the Moto Workshop. It's full of awesome equipment, really cool bikes like this one here. And all of those products I've been shamelessly plugging are made here by me and Sean. What I've done so far is I've made a cardboard mock-up. What I intend to machine, I have a big old chunk of 6061 aluminum. Uh, it isn't exactly the most complex part to make, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys some CNC machining. Uh, it's something that I'm not an expert at, but I've been doing for some time and uh, it is a, it's a lot of fun. Once I had the foot pegs in a comfortable spot, I took some measurements off the bike and my template, and I uploaded those into a CAD program. If you're not familiar with CAD, it stands for Computer Aided Design. Uh, there's several programs that you can use. In this case, I'm using SolidWorks. Uh, thankfully, the left and the right parts are mirror images of each other, so I really only have to make this once. I'm a fan of the whole measure twice, cut once thing. So I ended up 3D printing this little tab here so that I can confirm the size and placement of those two holes. That way I don't have to scrap an expensive piece of aluminum. Uh, I can get my measurements right the first time using a cheap piece of plastic and then we're off to the races. With any adjustments to my computer model complete, is ready to start programming the milling operations. I use this program called BotCAD to generate the CAM, or Computer Aided Machining Code. Uh, it's pretty much the language that a CNC mill or lathe or whatever uses to operate. Uh, it's pretty much a text file that tells the machine, go here, to put the tool down, turn the coolant on, etc. You could, in fact, type that all out yourself if you knew the code. Uh, but in this case, the program does it all for me uh, using this graphical interface. It's pretty handy. Uh, it also has a simulation feature so I can watch in real time uh, what the machine will do when I actually put the part in. So with all that complete, the final step is to actually start machining. Clamp the appropriately sized piece of aluminum billet into the vise on the machine, set the home, and
All right, the compressor finally shut off. <laughs> but I got the first operation of my two rear set brackets complete. You can see we're about halfway done, but there is this big chunk of aluminum on the backside. So what I need to do there is create a second operation where this gets mounted upside down like this, and the mill goes and takes all that off. Here's a couple of our hand switches in progress. You can see these are off of the CNC machine and have gone through our finishing process before we go to anodize. So these are blasted in a vapor honer before they're tumbled. So they get a nice semi-polished appearance. Uh, and that gives a much better finish after the anodizing process. So we're almost out of the first run, so if you are interested, you can go to the website, themodelworks.com. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna have a couple more ready to go pretty soon. Here we are, back to the shop. Got my parts. I think they turned out pretty all right. What do you think? Let's see if they fit. I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. Not bad for less than a day's work. You can see I put a little piece of thread there just so the lever stays in place. Uh, my next job is going to be connecting 
this little tab to the drum brake lever there. Uh, and that will actuate the rear brake when you press on the pedal. We'll have to do a shifter linkage on the other side as well. But the important thing here is now I know exactly where to place my muffler and at what angle so that it matches this piece. Well, that's all the time that I have for this week. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I know it was fun for me to get back behind the machines, but next time we'll be returning to the BMW. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, or you want to tell me what I did wrong today, please leave a comment below. I'm kind of new to the video thing, so it'd be very encouraging to me and greatly appreciated if you subscribe to the channel. Also, if there's ever anything in the background that you're curious about, go ahead and ask. I would be happy to show off some of the weird projects that I have going on here. Anyway, like I said, that's all I got for this week, so I'll see you around.